Welcome, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Dave Daly. I'm the Senior Director of Product Marketing for Distribution Solutions at GE, and I'll be your moderator for today's webinar. I'm very excited to be joined today by representative of one of our utility customers in Europe, Anna Gonzalez at Iberdrola. Welcome, Anna, and thanks for joining us today. Welcome, everyone. Also joining us will be one of my GE colleagues, Alison Page, an ADMS Product Manager. And Alison will be kicking off today's discussion with a review of growing challenges in managing low voltage networks. Before we start, I just want to take a minute to remind everyone this is part of an overall ADMS webinar series we're doing in 2019, with a focus in particular on additive portfolio based solutions. Our recent sessions have included GIS and ADMS integration, mm -hmm. as well as mobile solutions for ADMS, both of which are available for replay. As, as well as these sessions, we also have last year's, and a couple of highlights to mention are the benefits of our proven distribution optimization advanced apps, in particular, Flizzle deployment at PPL in the US, and then the session on DR orchestration, highlighting a new forecasting application being used by Steden in Europe. But for today, our discussion topic, we're going to focus on low voltage monitoring, and in particular, how by using a number of additive solutions from an ADMS, customers can model monitor and ultimately optimize the performance across their low voltage networks. So to start, I'd like to hand over now to Alison for an overview of those growing challenges customers are facing every day. Alison, over to you. Thank you, Dave. Um, as Dave has said, uh, today we're talking about uh, low voltage management and the challenges um, that we are seeing um, in the distribution network. So low voltage uh, networks are, are part of the electric distribution grid uh, that takes the energy from the distribution transformer to the end consumer meters. Um, typically, these networks, um, as they go out and distribute, can be a lot larger than those that we see at medium and high voltage. Um, so the nature of these networks are that they are larger. Typically, the visibility and awareness of low voltage networks um, has been um, lacked some visibility um, due to the static nature of these and the operations that are done um, at a re regional level. However, we're seeing a change um, in these low voltage networks mainly due to the influx of new devices, especially distribution energy resources, which are changing the network um, and changing it from a static network to quite a dynamic energy network. In addition, there are a rapid increase in the types of monitoring devices that are available on these networks. We've got smart meters at the customer and at substation level. And we've also got sensors um, on the network giving back information. Um, there's also some SCADA devices that are, also, that are being deployed on this network to help the distribution companies understand uh, what, is, what is going on on the network. So really um, th this change in, in usage and measurement is, is giving um, a different need to the utility companies in that they need a real-time view of this network um, and it's changing what how it's been worked from the operations in the distribution company and that view is not just a central view but also one that's required by the field crews who are out and um, updating and, and, and monitoring uh, the network in the field. So recognising uh, this challenge, uh, GE is actively working with customers to, to meet their, their requirements in this low voltage environment. Our vision for low voltage includes some of the following elements um, within our product roadmap. Initially, um, you know, to model and ensure an increased situational awareness of the low voltage network. Um, part of including within that, that modeling, making sure it's up to date and accurate. Um, 
And in doing that, utilizing some outage information to ensure that the phase information and the customer contacts that we have linking with the network are accurate. As there's more um, SCADA being deployed on that uh, network, just hooking into some features that allow uh, for more flexibility and, and automation um, with the, the low voltage SCADA being deployed. Um, and also ensuring that any single phase elements are, are being recorded. Lastly, as the low voltage network is predominantly uh, operated by the fuel crews, deploying features um, that the fuel crews can use on mobile to see um, the real time network, see the real time status and get updates are really important to part of this low voltage monitoring roadmap. So I'll hand back to, to Dave um, to go on and, and talk about our other low voltage uh, features. Great, Alison, thanks for that. And some really good insights into you know, how you're working there with customers to really kind of innovate and transform the low voltage. And with that in mind, I'd really like to now hand over to Anna to really describe the project, both some previous work done at Ibadrola as well as the current project. So Anna, over to you. Hello, everyone. My name is Anna Gonzalez. I work in Iberdrola. I began to work in Iberdrola in 1990. And always I have been involved in, in areas in uh, real system. Uh, uh, re real time system and also in the GIS uh, areas. So now uh, today I am going to explain you uh, what we are going to do with the low voltage network and how we are going to use the a, a DMS uh, system. Uh, the, name, the name of our project is Elvis Project uh, Low Voltage Information System. So, uh, the topic that I want to cover today are, uh, I am going to give you some uh, figures about Iberdola. Also, I want to, to tell you about the Apple project that is uh, an H2020 project uh, with several partners and with real demo demonstrators. And also, we want to, to tell you about the, our current project, that is the Elvis project, and what is going to happen after develop the Elvis project. So uh, now uh, I am going to give you some uh, figures about Iberdola. Iberdola is a uh, is utility that covers some area of Spain, not all uh, Spain, we have uh, uh, 11 million of customers and uh, almost 100% uh, of them have smart meter. Uh, we have more or less 140,000 secondary substations and we have nearly 1,000 file engineers. Um, uh, this is important to say because with the Elvis project, the idea is to provide a mobile device uh, for them with the power on mobile solution. Uh, here you can see in, in the map that we have six control centers uh, for high and medium voltage uh, control uh, network. And in each of them, uh, we are covering or supporting one, more than one million customers. In the, in the Elvis project, we will have three systems covering two control centers, each one. Here, there are, uh, uh, I will, uh, uh, before talking about the Elvis project, I would like to put you in uh, background and talk a little about a very interesting project the name was Pidelex Area Project. This was a collaborative project between the Basque Country, Iberdola, and local companies in order to make those companies more competitive and living especially in the area of smart grid. 
one of those companies was GE, and here we started working in the low voltage control system. And uh, this, uh, uh, we contribute, uh, continue with our collaboration with GE in the Adgrip project. Uh, focusing on the Adgrip project, Iberdola led the Spanish demonstrator in which is uh, we work with Tecnalia, that is uh, a local research center. In this case, we were working with them in analyzing this uh, meter event. Also, we work with the Basque Country Energy Agency, that is EB, in the development of a website that, based on real customer data, will offer challenges in order to optimize, optimize the consumption. Also, we work with CTIB, and in this case, the company uh, wanted to test the possibility of remote control of the device using bright technology. Uh, in the map on the left, you can see the are covered by PowerOn in the upgrade project. In, in the, the red area show the initial scope of the project, but during the project, we decided to extend it to check the scalability of the product or the power on. And also, we decided to move from the power on fusion version to advanced 6.3. The final scope is in blue. Uh, here you can see that this uh, initial, uh, this final scope covers more than 2,000 secondary stations, um, about uh, 400,000 customers in an urban and semi-urban area. Uh, now, uh, what here you can see uh, the, the things that we get uh, what, uh, in the project. In the project, we cons uh, get a very good visibility and real visibility of low voltage network. This information is coming from the EIS, but in the EIS, in the current EIS, we don't have all the information in a graphical mode. Also, we develop an outage management system to support a big network operation, and the, the, the extension is present is magnitude goal out to the LV grid visibility, control, controllability, and operation and thus improving the quality of surveys and KPIs. That is, that is a key issue for us, to improve the quality of service that we are giving to our customer. Thanks to the ACTRI project, we decided that uh, this tool, that the low voltage management system, uh, is a good tool uh, and very useful for Iberdola to have a LB network management system. And also, with the lesson learned and the help of file engineers that uh, it was a critical and a very important uh, point is to, to um, the participation of the file engineers at the beginning of the project with us. We could prepare a technical specification with the necessary requirement oriented to a, a mobile tools. We are thinking uh, in a mobile tool with all the functionality that we have in the desktop solution and this mobile a mobile tool um, can work uh, both in online and offline mode. Uh, now we are going to, to go directly to the to the Elvis uh, project that now we are uh, involved in the phase zero uh, in the in def defining the, the the requirement that we need. Um, what are the main objectives of the Elvis project is to provide visibility of the low voltage grid. Uh, we want to, to see the inside of the secondary side station with all the details. Also, we want to see the different low voltage lines. And also, we want to see in the, the diagram in the map some of the characteristics of the type of customer connected to each fuse box. We want to, to see the real state of the low voltage grid. It's something that we don't have in any system. It's something that is going to be new. 
we want to see the different tags, the temporary element that we have in the low voltage system, and also we want to, to the real measurement of the smart meter and the different meter that we have is a sensor that we find in, in the LBIM network. Also, we want to provide a very powerful uh, framework for managing the outage, but not only the outage, also the plan job for LB network, and um, providing to the maintenance staff a useful, a efficient, and use-friendly tools for local operation. Uh, in this case, uh, we need to think that in some areas we don't have signal, and the mobile device must uh, work in online mode with all the capabilities that we have in the desktop solution. And also, we want to have the possibility to take photos, uh, searching tools, uh, to uh, run uh, distribution load, uh, load, load flows, and also the trace, trace functionality. Uh, we want to do uh, what's between the real layout of the grid in the low voltage control system and the inventory of the GIS information that we have in the in our corporate uh, system, and all of uh, all the uh, LB uh, network management system must be completely integrated with our uh, corporate uh, system, with the um, uh, uh, master OMS, with the plan job system, also with the metering system and maintenance system. And uh, we want to optimize uh, of the grid via interaction with the current planning and maintenance system. This is our very short uh, objective. You can see in the screen, in the, in the slide, and we want to manage all the incidents that we have in the low voltage network in a, a delegate mode because the master of the, as I mentioned before, the master of the OMS is going to be a high and medium voltage OMS. So we want, we need to have a very good synchronization with the master OMS. Also, we want to manage the LB plan jobs and those uh, outage and low voltage uh, plan job must be completely uh, must be uh, integrated in the mobile device solution. Also, we want to have some kind of visibility of very high high and medium voltage network in our tool. Uh, we want to to run uh, power flow in low voltage using information coming from the smart meter, and also. Um, uh, uh, in the uh, online and offline mode is something that is going to be uh, uh, very useful for the crew of file engineers and also to have a knowledge of a real topology state in the low voltage network. As I mentioned before, is something that is going to be completely new for us because now we don't have uh, this information in, in any system. And here, in this slide, you can see uh, you have on the on the left some uh, diagram showing how is our low voltage network. You can see that the transformer in uh, the bus bar of the secondary substation and the different views. In some cases, we have some auto transformer inside the secondary substation. Uh, um, here you can see in red. Those uh, elements in red uh, are switching elements that we can uh, open and close or remove or put in case of the fuse. Here you can see also that there is um, that we have different measurements. Uh, in the low voltage network, we can see that we have three levels of measurement. Uh, one is the, uh, the measurement coming from the customer smart meter. Also, uh, with the rollout of the smart meter, uh, for us was an opportunity to increase the medium voltage automation. And in most of the secondary substation, we have a supermission meter, meter on the low side of the transformer. So in this case, we are going to have a lot of information about what is happening in, uh, down the string, the, the transformer, 
And also, also in some lines, no, not in all the lines, but in some lines, we have uh, we decided to install another meter uh, to have more visibility uh, of uh, what is happening. Uh, on the on the right side of the slide, you can see what are the main functionalities that we want to have in the Elvis uh, project or Elvis system that we want to have the trace functionality also the possibility to run a, diff a different uh, workflow. Also, we want to simulate some switching operation before to, to, do, or in, to do them. Also, we want to put different temporary elements at can, jumper, ground. Also, uh, we, in some cases, we want to integrate with, go, with Google Map. Um, we want to have the OMS uh, functionality uh, for uh, analyzing the different outages and, and plan yacht and calculate the real scope of the different incident. Uh, also, we want to, to have different reports and also some um, uh, useful information for a manager in that uh, in real time we are going to have some uh, very full dashboard. Also, we are going to have the uh, face and level visibility. Uh, in the future, we are going to know exactly in which face is connected each customer. And with this tool, we are going to, to swing. We are going to have the possibility to, to switch to open close one of the face individually. Also, uh, it's important to say that with the DIS, we are going to have a bidirectional uh, interface. We are going to import the data of the topology of the network from the EIS, but also uh, daily, we are going to send the real status of the different device that we have in the low voltage network. And also, we want to have some kind of visibility, as I mentioned before, of the very high, high and medium voltage network in the, in the system. Uh, the, the name of the project was, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, is Elvis, Low Voltage Information System, but we can say that it's not only an information system, it's also a very integrated system with all, uh, other corporate systems. Here you can see uh, uh, the, the, uh, there are different interfaces, but there are uh, two main interfaces. One is with the GIS. We want to have a daily interface with the GIS uh, for calculating the delta, the different increments to load in the system. And this is, uh, is a very important issue because uh, it's going to be, we are going to, 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 we don't know exactly um, how we are going to process with this uh, interface, but it's important to think that we want to have every day the different chains that we have in the low voltage uh, network. Also, another important interface is with the OMS, with the master OMS, uh, and also this uh, OMS um, we are going to use as gateway to connect with uh, another other, uh, system, last, uh, like um, work order management system, the plan job system, and also the customer information system. So we are going to use uh, it as a gateway, and it's very important to say that we need a real online synchronization uh, to know uh, the, the uh, real status or all, uh, all LB, LB outages and plan job, and to be able to inform to the customer inf information system, system about the real scope of the different incident that we have. To, it's important to send uh, very frequently the list of customers affected by LB uh, outages. And now, we can go through the through the next uh, slide, and we can talk about the medium term objective, not the short term objective. And uh, we we think that the low voltage is going to be a critical part of our network uh, because we are going to have more and more uh, uh, distribution generation. 
also flexible load, also batteries and electrical vehicles, and we are going to need a very powerful uh, tools to control and to see what is happening in our network. And also, uh, we, we need some tools for uh, be ready, ready for assuming the DSO functionality. That is something that is going to, to happen in the in the near uh, future. So, this was my my last uh, slide. I don't know if you have some questions. Hmm? So thank you for taking the time to, to share that today. So we do have a few minutes left, so I've got a couple of questions. Um, okay. So the first, what is your biggest learning from the upgrade project and how are you applying that to the latest one? Yes, for, for, for us it was very important the participation of the, the uh, field engineer and with the experience of them. Uh, we uh, learned that we need um, a mobile tool. Not uh, it's important to have in our main office some tool to to control and to manage the the different outages. But it's more important to provide to the uh, to the file engineers uh, a device, a mobile device, with all the functionality that we uh, that they are going to need to control and to to manage the, the outage and uh, right. low voltage uh, job plan. Yes, uh, and we are thinking to, to have in this mobile application the trace functionality, the possibility to run right. the, uh, the power flow, this kind of things that is going to be very useful, but because they can manage um, the low voltage outage and uh, plan job without any any uh, help. They don't need to call to the control center for 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 helping because they are going to have the, the tools to manage uh, all these things. Now that that's great, and I think that really you know, the what your the detail, the information that you're providing then in the field that that really is kind of a next level, and and really I think a first in the industry. So so really exciting. Um, we'll find one other question. Yeah, what what do you see as the benefit for the end consumer, the end customer from this latest project? What what will yes. they get once this is done? Yes, we are going to, to improve the quality of service and the different different KPIs that we are using to 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 know what is the quality that we are giving to our customer. We are going to receive not only the uh, calc, uh, the customer calls. We are uh, going to receive also the smart meter event, and with this information, we are going to be able to resolve the problem that we have and to locate where the fault is uh, is um, uh, very fast. So, in this case, we are going to provide the information to our customer about when we are going to repair the, the fault uh, very quickly. So, the the that the, the main reason to use this kind of tool is to know really what we are uh, uh, what is happening in our low voltage network and also and also to provide a very uh, good quality of service to our customer yeah. that's great well look, i think that's all we have time for um if there's other questions people have, please reach out to either Alison or myself, um, and we'll follow up and make sure those are responded to. Um, again, big thanks, Anna, for taking the time to share this. It's so interesting, some really exciting stuff here. Um, and Alison, thanks for the great intro about, you know, not just working with uh, Iberdrola, but what you're doing as a whole with the customers globally on LV. And then finally, thanks to everyone for taking time at your busy schedules to join and listen to our webinar. And we hope to talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.